In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine knit and purl stitch to create a fabric which is called stockinette stitch. So this will be where you knit on one side and purl on the other. Hi Sugar Snaps, my name is Brittany. Welcome to the Textile Indie YouTube channel. Here we cover all things fiber craft and textile arts. Right now I'm in the middle of a knitting series going over the very foundational steps you need to know to get started in knitting. I'm going to show you how to do stock and knit stitch or knit one side, purl the other side. And I'm going to do it with the jumbo yarn so that you can see it easier on camera. And then with this wool worsted weight yarn, because worsted weight is a very common size of, or gauge of yarn to work with in knitting projects. So it's good to know what that looks like as well. So let's start out by casting on 10 stitches and you can find a cast on tutorial up here in the eye as well as in the description below. So I'm going to create a wrong needles, <laughs> create a slip knot, cast on 10 stitches, and I'm using the long tail cast on. And now you're going to hold your needle so that it's in your left hand, just like you would for a knit and purl. We're going to start with the purl row because for me, the long tail cast on this side reminds me of the purl side of knitting. So I'm going to knit a row in purl. And again, that means coming from the right side of the stitch to the left side throwing your yarn, pulling it through to the back and lifting off. So we'll create a row. I'm going to knit all or purl <laughs> all of these stitches all the way across. So from the right of the stitch to the left, crossing the right needle in front of the left needle, yarning over or throwing the yarn and then pulling that loop through and off the needle. So through, off the needle on the left to create your stitch. And you can see my new row is mimicking the row of the long tail cast on. So that looks nice and tidy there. Now I'll flip this so that it's now in my left hand, grab my open or empty needle with my right hand and now we're going to do knit stitch on this side. So this is on the knit side. You can see the little V's showing up there. So for this one, you're gonna come from the left side of the stitch towards the back on the right, yarn over towards the back, pull it forward and lift that loop off. So left to right behind the left needle, loop around, pull that loop forward and lift the loop off your left hand needle towards the back loop around pull forward lift off so i'll knit all of these stitches all the way across and now you have two rows of knit stitch as you knit on one side, a purl row is forming on the other side. So every time you knit a row, you're building both sides of the fabric. You're doing the opposite of the other side of the fabric. So this is my knit side. What's happening on the back side of the fabric is a purl row. Now when we flip it over here and do a purl row, it's simultaneously creating a knit row on the other side. So bring your needle through. And I go over throwing methods in my knit tutorial and my purl tutorial. Throwing is the method by which you bring the yarn around the knitting needle so that you can create the new loop or the new stitch. And there are two methods. There's the English me method, which I'm demonstrating here. And there's the continental method where you hold and you throw the yarn with your left hand rather than your right hand. So again, here's the knit or stockinette fabric forming on this side, as well as this side. You have the waves 
looks like waves to me of the pearl side and the mini V's or arrowheads of the knit side. And this fabric is called stockinette because of the knit on one side and the pearl on the other. If you've been following along in the knit series with me, you now have increased your knitting repertoire to three stitches, four if you count garter stitch. You can do knit stitch, pearl stitch, stockinette stitch, and garter stitch as a natural outcome of knit and pearl stitches. Congratulations, very exciting step in your knitting journey. And you are well on your way with a bit of practice to creating some amazing knit projects. Now I'm going to go through the same process on the worsted weight yarn so that you can see what the knit fabric looks in this gauge. I'm going to send my needle through. And when you're working with worsted weight yarn or wool yarn in general, make sure that as you send your needle through right here, where you're catching the front of that stitch, don't split the yarn. It's easy to split the yarn and separate the strands and create a stitch that only catches half of the previous stitch. So catch all of those layers and all the plies in that yarn so that when you loop around and you create your stitch here, like so, you have a full completed stitch. This will mean that your fabric is smooth and lays nice and flat. Now, when you finish that first row, again, you're gonna flip it over, flip the needle over so that you're looking at the other side and your loaded needle is in your left hand. And now we're going to knit stitch. So I'm gonna send the needle back through this loop, yarn over, pull the loop forward and off. And there are your little V stitches on this side and flip it over and there are your pearl stitches on this side. The results of this stockinette stitch to me look like small little V's on the knit side and waves or little scallops on the pearl side. So that's one way that you can tell the difference which side you're on and which stitch to do. If it's the V side you're on, that's the knit stitch. If you're looking at little waves, that's the pearl stitch. And another note on the mechanics of knitting, when you're on one side of the fabric and let's say you're on the knit side and you're knitting a row, you're actually knitting on one side and creating a purl row on the other. And then when you flip it over and you do purl on the other side, you're actually simultaneously creating a knit row on the knit side. So you're building both sides of the fabric. It's just the one the side that you're looking at is the stitch that you're actually doing. It's creating the opposite effect on the other side. So you're creating loops and the way that your needle is going into the yarn or into those loops and then looping it around dictates how the stitches are created. So each row that you knit is increasing a full row on both sides of the fabric. This may be obvious to you, maybe not. So I wanted to point it out. To get more information from me and from Textile Indie, sign up for my email update list. The link to that is in the description below. Add your name and email and you'll receive a twice a month email with resources, updates, new content that I have on Textile Indie YouTube channel and the website and other goodies from the Textile Indie team. Check out textileindie.com for a collection of beginner knitter projects. We have a full blog post with 31 projects you can do or get started in knitting. You can find that in the description below. Hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. I so appreciate being able to do this and walk the creative journey with you. Experiment creatively. Until my next video, happy making. See you later. Bye.